Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Got another update for you. Uh, did a lot of interior work over the summer. So in the past I was doing videos about resurfacing the door panels, making all new door panels underneath with new foam, and new uh, cardboard structure. Here is the completed driver's side, fully installed, new door lock poppers. This trim pieces are all the original trim. I just shined it up with some scotch bright pads and some metal polish, original logo, original door handle, power, uh, power window buttons, all original pieces went back in just fine. We got nice new black vinyl sides here. Um, I did some videos on my seats. Check these seats out. They came out great. I'm real happy with them. I just put the back seat back in today. Um, as I mentioned before, I was doing heated seats because my kids are always like, oh, why don't they ever put heated seats in the back? Well, I went ahead and did that for them. can kind of see the, the button stands out a little bit. I mean, it's it's subtle. It's down here up against the armrest. It doesn't stick out too much, but if we're cruising with the top down on a cool night, they can warm themselves up in the back. We've got them up front too here. I hit them down in there. Pretty sweet. Um, this was a little pitted and, and worn out. These uh, this console uh, like metal top here with a it's got like a texture. So I powder coated it in like a matte black, and it came out really nice. Like it's it's so good. Um, I'm real happy with it. Uh, so I got the console all back together. I got a tack. Yes, I know it's an automatic, and they don't come with tacks, but the uh, original logo that was in there was kind of beat up and, you know, rusting and falling out. So I found that tack. I believe it's for like a 60s, 61, 62 Oldsmobile Starfire. Found it on eBay. Someone was selling it. Got a pretty decent deal for it. It fits perfectly like, like factory inside that spot in the console. It's got a light. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the front seats came out really nice. The foam underneath came out really nice. It's nice and comfortable. They're nice and firm. Power seat works. Got my seat belts back. I sent these out to Snake Oil, S-S-N-A-K-E-O-Y-L. They specialize in seat belt restoration. I just had them do new webbing because my webbing was kind of dry rotted. The hardware is in good shape. A little bit of rust here and there, but I don't mind that. Keep it somewhat original. See, the buckle fell down over here. There we go. There's the buckle. Little patina on it, but I kind of like it that way. The original Fisher costs a little more than getting all new ones, but these were in decent shape, so I just wanted to keep them. Back seat, same thing. Kept the hardware. The back seat was worse. They had tears in it, um, mold on it and everything, but got those back. And I did get a new middle one. Um, Got the neat aircraft buckle style. So in case we ever have a middle person riding with us, they'll have a seat belt too. You know, that would just be good to have. Speakers work. Passenger side looks real nice. Um, made a new glove box. Uh, my first foray into playing with fiberglass. I didn't do a video on that. Um, there's guys that have way better videos than me, but, uh, yeah, it came out, it worked, uh, it fits. I'm happy with it. Got to put the passenger seat in, uh, the track is on. I just got to get it down on the floor. Got to do some vacuuming, but yeah, it's coming along. I might be driving it soon. Hopefully fingers crossed. All right. More to come. Take care.